Hello and thank you for joining me. Today we are going to be talking about the spreadsheet feature of GeoGebra, which is a nice tool to use in a statistics class or if you're focusing on statistics in a course like algebra or something like that. And so a nice thing about this feature of GeoGebra is that you have this nice dual view. So you'll see over here on the left, we have the actual spreadsheet. Then over here on the right, we have a graph, but we can change the size using these um, kind of arrow bars in the middle. And then we also even have one more screen, which you'll see is for charts and other things like that, which we'll look at a little bit later. So the first thing we're going to do, I already have some values over here in the spreadsheet that we're going to be using for the tutorial today. So what we're going to do first is I'm just going to highlight all of these values and I'm going to right click and right here we can click create and there's quite a few different options for create. But what I'm going to do right now is create a list of points. And so now you'll see all my points appear over here on the right in our graph, where the A values are the X coordinates and the B values are the corresponding Y coordinates. And so now we have our set of points. So next, something I might want to do is create a two variable regression analysis, which those of you in statistics know that this is just going to help us find a best fit line. And so keeping my points highlighted, I'm going to click this two variable regression. And so you'll notice that nothing appears here where it's actually appearing now is over here on this other screen. So the purpose of this middle screen is simply just for a graph when you want to see that visual on a graph. But this tool is going to help us more with some other features. So with the regression model, we can pick lots of different options depending on the shape of our graph. For the purpose of what we're looking at today, we're just going to look at linear, but know that you can choose these other models if you would prefer. All right, so looking at our linear regression here, we can see that our best line goes through. And so this is nicer than using the best fit line in the graphing tool because here it's actually going to create one based on all of your points, not just how we were doing it before by selecting two specific points. So this is going to give us a more accurate regression model than we could find with the graphing tool. And we can also find evaluation using this equation for the best fit line. So let's say I wanted to know for x equals 4, it's going to give me the value over here. And so we could plug in whatever number we wanted to figure this out for. Okay, so now let's just pretend for a second that we're no longer thinking of these as ordered pairs. So our column A and B aren't corresponding to each other. These are two separate columns of data. You'll notice here we also have one variable analysis and multivariable analysis. So starting with the one variable analysis, I'm going to highlight everything we have here and click on the one variable analysis. And so now what we have on the right is going to change and we have a bunch of different options that we can choose here. So the first thing it showed us is a histogram. We can also look at a bar chart, box plot, dot plot. So we have lots of different options for how we might want to look at our data here. Then we can also select both columns of data and do a multiple variable analysis. And so with the multivariable analysis, we can only use stacked box plots. That's currently the only option we have for, um, for kind of comparing data sets. Then looking up here in the right, we have this little button here that is going to show the statistics for the, for the columns of data that we're looking at here. So here we have the number of entries, the mean, we've got standard deviation, min, max, all the, all the kind of key statistics that we might want to know for our different sets of data. But we can also calculate those same things 
just by highlighting our columns of data. So let's say I wanted to find my sum. Again, highlighting and click sum. It's going to give those for both columns. Or if I wanted, I could just do one column at a time. Let's say now I want my mean. So I can click on that and it's going to just keep adding that data for me. So we can calculate kind of those key statistics again, just using the table over here if we want. But this is a nice, quick, easy way to get all of that information. Then you'll also notice up here with this little button, we can copy these to graphics view. So this is just going to change the way that we're viewing it, or we can export it as a picture. So let's say I wanted this to include in another document for something a student is going to submit or the teacher wants to put it into their slides to show as an example you can export it as a picture to use that way so that covers the basic features that we see of spreadsheet in geogebra um, there are some other tools that you can kind of play around with if you're interested like looking at matrices um, and other tables but we have talked through most of the basics for what you might use in a general statistics class or a statistics portion of an algebra class. Thank you so much for watching and keep an eye out for my next video which will be on the probability feature of GeoGebra.